Hi, I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Welcome back again to uh, How to Paint Watercolours with me, Colin. And we uh, just set this one off with some Indian yellow. A bit like the uh, last one, will be another sunset. Number 30 round, you can use any brush that suits you, use a flat if you want to, but just I'm just putting some colour in. I've got the board laying flat, a band of alizarin crimson, merge it all together and then over the top of that this is some raw sienna as I said before raw sienna is transparent to the top of that yellow ochre then with that this is some straightforward burnt umber Couple of streaks in the sky. This is burnt umber with a touch of ultramarine, French ultramarine, just to add some depth in the corners to help focus your eye into the painting. I'll need to let that dry. Not when I say dry, we just want to <clears throat> we just want the shine to go off the paper so we can put the next layer of paint on. So just as it's drying slightly, we'll just put some indicate a few bushes here. This is just burnt umber with some ultramarine in it. Bit on this side. I will try and keep my head out of the way. I just want to put a little bit of uh, burnt umber once again on French Ultramarine for just a slightly darker mix. Just to indicate one or two shadows that will be in the trees on the bushes. Moving up to the top where these trees are. This is burnt, <coughs> the original burnt umber and French ultramarine mix and just pat it in with your brush and being as the paper is still damp there isn't really <coughs> any need to worry. Just let it have its way. Same on the side. and also into that we need to add some French ultramarine and burnt umber once again but this is the darker mix <clears throat> just to add some depth 
to the bushes and the embankments. Just pull some branches out really, tree trunks, that will all soften off. Just reinforcing some areas. Just before it dries, with a damp tissue. Just lift out some paint to create a light spot where the sun is. Just a little bit of water on that, I think. We'll do. Now we'll let that dry. <coughs> and now that the paper's dried off a bit, we can uh, paint the bridge in. So this is a mixture of burnt umber, French ultramarine, and crimson. And we just start to paint the bridge. And as uh, <coughs> this is a bit time-consuming, you can see what I'm doing. Really, it's not much. And don't forget you can always turn the board around to help you um, to paint the shapes should you want to. I'll just paint a little bit of it and then you can see what I'm really up to. And then I'll turn the camera off and you can see the finished result. Hopefully when you've got it painted it uh, look something like that and then we come down to the water or the river and we're just mirroring the sky this is just Indian yellow a bit stronger this time as I've said before water has depth which gives it a deeper colour a little white line between the bank and the Indian yellow on this side. Just bring it all the way across. We have some alizarin crimson. That's it. This is the raw sienna. Along the bottom, just some yellow ochre. Once again, from the sides, just some burnt umber to uh, focus your eye into the painting slightly by darkening the corners. You won't see a great deal of this as we. Uh, Put the reflections in. I've just dipped into the uh, French ultramarine and burnt umber. Just to darken it more, a bit more. Along here. Just mirroring the sky, really. Once again, with the burnt umber. Just had, just had the inside reflection hint at the back. 
remembering that it will dry lighter. And remembering that it will continue to drift. French Ultramarine and Burnt Umber once again, but a dark mixture. This is the French Ultramarine and Burnt Umber as we put the reflections in, Just pull them out. It can all go disastrously wrong. Pass it in. Once again with the dark. Ultramarine and burnt umber, but a really dark mixture on this side. Just with a damp tissue, check my mat where the sun is. Just going to take some paint out. Just a quick hint of reflection of the bridge, but not too much. Don't worry about this diffusing, that's what you're looking for. Play with it too much as I am starting to. And just a hint of the uh, the iron structure. Nothing complicated. And then we leave that to dry. Okay, your painting's finished now. All you've got to do is sign it, put a frame around it. It's yours. This is a painting for a gentleman called Robert Lee. I hope you've enjoyed this painting demo. Thank you very much for watching. And for further painting demonstrations, Please click the like button and subscribe. Thank you very much.